Hi, Singaporeans. I'm here at a restaurant in Bedok. I'm here to meet my friends, old childhood friends from school days. And we meet once in two months at a restaurant all over Singapore. We choose a restaurant all over Singapore every uh, time, a different restaurant each time. So here am I bringing you to inside the restaurant to meet my friends. As you can see, I'm with a group of friends. We do what Singaporeans all over do. We talk over food, and food is our passion. So we talk over food. We talk about various subjects, all kinds of things. And this is part of my personal life with my friends. And I am sharing with Singaporeans that when I become president, I will do the same, continue the same, talking with them, sharing my, my life with them. GC is our very good friend. We have known him for such a long time since uh, primary school. He's a very warm and caring person. And uh, he has uh, more than potential to be our uh, next president. We will wish him every success. I'm here in the Chinese restaurant in Bedok with my old friends from primary school days. We meet once in two months and when we are together, we just exchange um, memories of old school days. We also talk about a lot of issues of what is happening now. We share notes on our families, on our children and what they are doing. Some of them have very grown up children unlike me and my children are still young. So I'm still learning from them how they raise their children to become successful members of society. I hope to emulate them and also raise my children to become good members of society. I'm not uh, this is same primary school at, at, at San Anthony Boys. And we happen to be in the same kampong. Together we are quite playful uh, among ourselves. Yeah. So this time round, we will be participating in uh, the presidential election. And I think uh, he will be able to speak his mind out. You know, since I've known him from young that he's not afraid to speak up and uh, among all the friends I think he has a very good potential to, to handle the whatever assignment <laughs> given by the by being a president of the state side. I don't know. We speak a lot of our, on a range of social issues and we are very frank and candid with each other because we have got nothing to hide. We have known each other for so many years that really, you know, we know each other inside out. So there's nothing to hide. There's no attempt to hide anything from us, from any of us. So we will continue to speak up. I will continue to speak up uh, if I get to become the president. <laughs> 